Whoa. Well, Sampras is firing on all cylinders here. This is the, the man we used to see, the man we used to love, uh, playing at a terrific standard on his serve. How much skill has he got left? How good is he playing? Is he good enough to win a 14th Grand Slam? And he's got it. So Pete Sampras, straight sets. Well, Sampras obviously pleased with that. So are the fans. And you can tell by the smile on his face that is a big confidence-boosting win. It's always good to get your first round match out of the way. The wide, Sampras is broken, and this puts him right in the heart of this match, in control. He's driving the car now, he leads by a set, and it that he should finish on an ace and Sampras wins it 6-3 7-5 it took just 98 minutes he acknowledges and absorbs the applause of the crowd and genuinely do you think he can be a contender oh I think he's gonna have to say Pete Sampras anyone who can serve like that will always be a contender but I mean if this weather stays like this this is California kind of weather low humidity moderate temperatures good weather for that a slightly slower court which will help his return Let off the hook early. Well, I think Pete was saying that she made the call, but it wasn't loud enough for Wayne McEwen to hear it. McEwen called the score, and that should be enough right there. Rosetsky had a legitimate gripe. Well, Sampras insistent on driving that backhand cross court, and Rosetsky stayed home and covered the volley. That's it, where the battle's waged. It certainly is. It's as though that bad call and that little incident has fired both men up. Well, and this has such an intensity about it, a real Davis Cup drama. Well, the double fault has cost Rzeski at other parts of this match. Fantastic little angle on that volley by Rosetsky. And Sampras has been in these kind of moments so many times. And there has to be a feeling amongst the crowd at times is how often is Sampras going to be back at the US Open. It's going to be one of the last times they see their hero in action. Well, Sampras probably playing his best returning point of the match. So after over three hours and 15 minutes of play, Sampras stands there at match point. He's done it! Delight for Sampras. And you can see what it means to him. Gracious in defeat as ever by Rosetsky, and you have to feel for him. Well, this was special. Sampras earned it. So Tommy Haas will Ready? start this match serving, the number three player in the world, serving to the number 17 seed, Pete Sampras. <laughs> and 
base beat. Yes, Sampras wants no part <laughs> in getting into rallies from the back. Incredible return there from Sampras from way inside the court. And on top of that, he hit a full extended backhand. And Sampras guesses correctly. That is too good. Sampras holds it love. It goes long. And it's 5 all. Match point, Pete Sampras. They're giving him that extra boost. They've been sitting for the majority of this match, but now they're on their feet as Sampras. At match point for the first time, trying to get to the quarterfinals against the number three player in the world. Oh, he double faults the match. Pete Sampras knocks out the number three seed and he is through to the quarterfinals in four sets. And Sampras has got a break of serve in the opening game of the third. He's only needed one break in each set. He got two in the second, but he has not been broken. But he just can't crack Pete Sampras. There we go. Sweetly over the net. He holds with an ace. A little bit of a fist pump. And now match point for Pete Sampras. Not so much has been made about Pete Sampras. Should he retire? Can he still play? do it. He's answered those questions tonight. Pete Sampras will play in the semifinals of the U.S. Open. A straight set victory over Andy Roddick. Pete Sampras serving to Shane Shawkin. Start the same way he did against Roddick. Watch out. Well, he serves his way out of it. Sampras nodding in approval. He's a game away from the finals. for Pete Sampras, a chance to advance to the U.S. Open Finals for the third year in a row. There it is. And Pete Sampras is through to the finals for a third consecutive. 
consecutive year. A good match against Shane Shawkin. They tried to write him off. But Pete Sampras has risen to the occasion once again in New York. Rival since childhood, battling for the U.S. Open title. Going into the 2002 final, the 17th seeded Sampras had not won a tournament in more than two years, a 33 tournament drought. Agassi was ranked sixth in the world and had won two Masters series and four tournaments in 2002 alone. Sampras had beaten Agassi in two U.S. Open finals. Would this be the third? And Pete Sampras takes the opening set. He's won his last six sets against Andre Agassi. First one today. He's up one set to love. Oh. Just long. And so Agassi hangs in there. It'll be Pete Sampras serving once again to try to close out this second set. Back to business as usual for Pete Sampras. And he does it. His 16th ace of the match gives him the second set. And Pete Sampras is now one set away from his 14th Grand Slam title. <laughs> right back at you. Agassi just won't go away. Agassi winning the points to the outside. Just keep the, the receiver under pressure. Oh, and this crowd ready to go crazy if Agassi wins the next point. Agassi sneaks it in, and now break point for Andre Agassi. And more importantly, it's set point. Agassi with another great return, and this time, Miss Agassi can't watch. Oh, he, he missed, missed it. it. We're going to a fourth set. Agassi stays alive. everything in this match. His wife knows that if Sampras can break here, he would serve for the title. Ooh. I guess he's not wasting any time putting that first serve in at only 94 miles per hour, but able to sneak this backhand down the line. Sampras. Helpless. I see he's coming into the net there for the 11th time in the match. Oh, that's why. But Sampras keeps coming up with the answers. We'll have another break chance. And he's got it. Pete Sampras. Will serve for the U.S. Open Championship. This is going to be a very emotional win for Pete Sampras if he can get one more point. Agassi stays alive. Championship points for Sampras at 40-15. And was it you said, Nico? First serve. And there we go. There it is. <laughs> the 
Princess is to the Yankee Club. Pete Sampras, his 14th Grand Slam. How sweet it is. Fourteenth Grand Slam, a record. Congratulations. And now it's my pleasure to ask Merv Heller to come forward and present the trophy to our champion, the 2002 U.S. Open Men's Singles Champion, Pete Sampras. It's been six years since Pete Sampras has been able to lift that trophy here at the U.S. Open. The longest span ever.